All right, so I got everything rigged up here on the body, uh, all all attached. Um, this has been a O2 silicone adhesive. Pretty much everything is held in with silicone. I'll see how it works, and if I need to do something permanent, then uh, uh, I'll deal with it when the time comes. But um, everything is resin um, for the detail stuff, uh, except for the vent internal parts, which are A and A. And the coin returns, which are also A and A, and uh, this uh, restraining bolt is actually aluminum. Um, it's one of my favorite parts. I think it's pretty cool. It's just held on with a magnet. Um, but yeah, yesterday I got the dome drive going, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I'm using the A and A gear system instead of the friction wheel, which would be just a wheel that uh, spins and and. Uh, with like you know a rubber rubber wheel that drives the the rock they're bearing to spin uh i think this is kind of the way to go it's um you get a little bit more control and the dome isn't gonna spin and and slide around under its own weight it'll kind of be it'll hold itself in place which is which is good um so yeah that's uh that's held on to a uh hub from servo city with a little nylon, quarter inch nylon spacer uh, in the middle to, to give it the right height. And uh, it's on a Pittman motor that is actually a little bit faster, I think, than the normal ones that people in the club use. Uh, this was what I could get my hands on. So in the Arduino code that runs this whole thing, it's it's dialed down a bit because uh, otherwise it spins around like a, like a rocket. Um, and I don't want it to spin that fast. So, yeah, and they're... They're rigged up to this Anderson power pole connectors, which you can see I uh, very clearly screwed up. <laughs> it's supposed to be red to red, obviously, um, but I, I got the, the connectors backwards. Um, these things are handy, but I found that they're a real pain in the neck to work with. Um, I don't know, maybe I don't have the right, the right crimping tool um, to get the wires into the little connectors that snap into the inside. I'm having issues where the, uh, the, the wire comes out of the crimp part um on some of them but anyway um they're hooked up to the siren 10 which is the dome motor controller uh you got the saber tooth feet motor controller uh slip ring uh connector which isn't hooked up or anything yet but uh, eventually i'll get to it um and then down there is the arduino the mp3 tr trigger that kind of red and then the uh, black box is the audio amp uh, connected to the speaker and then yeah, I don't think you'll really be able to see it but at the bottom there's uh, kind of a common ground um, terminal and a common 12 volt power terminal uh, and those eventually run back to the battery um, back there uh, you can see to hold the battery in place um, I built like a little fenced in uh, little kind of compartment for the thing to just slide uh, into and then same thing with the main electronics board this this motherboard or whatever I call it um, has a little fenced in slot that it just slips right into and this is just a cutting board um, kind of easy to work with just uh, drill some holes and put some spacers and some screws and some nuts and it seems to work out okay uh, I might put some supports that just kind of wrap around um from the sides just because there is some wiggle and if i can avoid it from bouncing around as it drives then i'll try to do that but like i said this is the panel one uh control system so there's the playstation 2 uh wireless controller receiver and then uh everything kind of goes back to this molex connector um for power uh, and also switches to turn on and turn off the uh, motors, the dome and the feet motors individually, and also the power. So I can I can pop that connector off and uh, and basically lift this board right out, um, disconnect the battery terminals and the uh, and the speakers, and uh, you know work on this if I need to. Um, so anyway, that's all hooked up in the back at the, the switchboard. Uh, and this is just held on with magnets. I have a, uh, a skin, uh, there's, there's styrene skins, but I have a aluminum 
inner door it was scrap from another builder that i used to just kind of keep the the shape use some jb weld glued it up held it in place uh got some magnets to kind of line the door and just keep it in place and then uh here you got the dome motor uh left and right feet motors and then the power switch which is pretty cool it's a little lit switch uh so everything is on with power and uh let's see i got the sound working and if i spin the motor see i got control now over the motor i'm pretty happy with the how the you know motor sounds um the the rockler was spun spins uh you know fairly easy uh on its own uh it's not the the quietest thing but it, it's it, it doesn't stick too much replaced it with the acetyl ball bearings instead of the steel ones and um and the teflon spray and yeah it, it works out okay i'm not sure if it'll be louder or quieter with the dome on either it'll muffle it or just turn it into an echo chamber i don't know we'll see um but yeah overall it's it's holding up pretty good um yeah spins pretty well uh that's that's about it uh so soon to come are the uh body or the um the legs um and the feet i've got pretty much everything ready just got to do some uh attaching and uh we'll be well on our way to roaming around um and uh can't wait all right thanks